We're in the Bahamas now, investigating a UFO connection around a real American military installation called AUTEC. AUTEC stands for the Atlantic Undersea Test and Evaluation Center. It was opened in 1967. It's on Andros Island, a remote location in the Bahamas. It sits on what's called the tongue of the ocean. This is a deep ocean basin that's roughly 110 nautical miles long, 20 nautical miles wide, and reaches depths of 6,000 feet. It's a perfect spot for testing new top secret weapons, submarines, and other exotic underwater craft. How are you, Max? Maximilien de Lafayette is a French ufologist who's written numerous encyclopedias about UFOs, extraterrestrials, and time travel. You said you know the secret from your sources of what Ortec is and what is going on at Ortec. Government is saying that they conduct exotic, aquatic, sophisticated weapon. It's much more than that. It's a nest for contact with uh, alien. Between the 17th and the 22nd of September, 1958, mm -hmm. during the administration of President, President Eisenhower. Eisenhower. They had a meeting. When you say they had a meeting, who is they? They were extraterrestrial. They are from outer space, from different dimensions. According to Maximilian, back in 1958, U.S. government officials had a secret meeting with extraterrestrials, and the very next year, the order to build Autec was given. The timing of both events strikes me as more than coincidental. They told them, we, the alien, we are going to give you some, some remarkable secrets in exchange. Don't interfere with us when we appear in your skies. If we have a free access to your world, you will have access to very advanced technology. Maximilian is telling us some pretty unbelievable things, but I'm willing to bet that there's not a single scientist in the world that will go on record and back him up. I need to know what your sources are for this information. Uh, so I give you my, my sources. Uh, probably this is, will be the last time you will see me, or anybody else will see me. Otec, it's a laboratory of extremely exotic, avant-garde, multi-dimensional, multi-parallel, universe technology. The U.S. military working on, and perhaps working with, alien technology. Where have we heard this before? Area 51. Is Autex something like a portal where there are yeah. doorways into other dimensions? Yes. It's an entrance and exit to multiple universes. A gateway. A gateway. Well, there is a theory about this, about Autex, the energy and the alien and the program. They built their attack on the top of Atlantis. As you know, the shape of, of Earth shifted many, many times. Atlantis is dispersed in so many places in the world. Wait, wait, wait. So the theory then is that somehow Atlantis was part of a unicontinent, which then separated when the tectonic plate shifted. Correct. This part of what Maximilian says is based in science. There was a single continent millions of years ago, Pangea. Everything else, you have to keep an open mind and just evaluate the proof. Any small piece of Atlantis, whatever it is, can produce certain electromagnetic, they call it hydroplasma, that can suck up many things and produce energy. Part of Atlantis is there. Who lived in Atlantis? They were extraterrestrial. I mean, isn't it a bit much? Aren't we like, are we reaching? Are we trying to like roll every possible theory into one giant UFO burrito? The only thing it has to do with Autec is location. It's happening all in the same area. Is there some ulterior thing going on here that has to do with extraterrestrials and Autec and the Navy? I can't say that. Right now, I'm just seeing coincidences. And then to top all these coincidences or this location business off, there's the uh, likelihood of some kind of interdimensional portal here. Yes, there are some very unusual things going on around Autec, but it doesn't necessarily mean that there's any kind of extraterrestrial involvement. There's no proof that the government is working with aliens at Autec. All we have is testimony by some very credible witnesses, but there are no videos, no photos, and no tangible evidence. 
no matter how you slice it, any which way you go, the Navy chose to put that test center in that place, remote, guarded. Nobody can get there. Who else do we know that did that? The Air Force, putting it their own test center at Area 51 in Nevada. Air Force Area 51, or Tech is the Navy's Area 51. 